Hey hello everyone, uh, I want to throw out the biggest I told you so to the English people, okay? Um, because there's calls in uh, England right now to ban, a complete outright ban on swords, okay? So for you, those of you that are not aware, uh, medieval martial arts, sword fighting uh, is very popular in England, okay? Now, uh, for years I've speculated the reason why it's like popular in England is because you know they don't have any any guns over there right they lost their gun rights or they gave them up okay uh, so people are naturally attracted to weapons and fighting so since the English people don't have guns they're like okay what's the next best thing that we can have okay we're gonna have we're gonna get into swords so so swordsmanship medieval martial arts extremely popular uh, in in Britain uh, now, it's also popular here in the United States, but what generally happens in the United States is, you know, there's some people like me that do both, right? Because to me, this and this are the same thing, okay? They're both arms that can be used for offense or defense, okay? Uh, so I do both, but most people in the United States, they only have the time and resources to devote to one or the other. So they're like, so most people are going to gravitate towards the more modern weapon, okay? Um... So, so that's why in, you know, in the United States, yeah, medieval martial arts is, is, is popular, but not as popular as it is in England, because that's the only thing that, that they can do over there, okay? So the Labor Party, which is like their version of the Democrat Party, uh, is making efforts to now ban this, okay? Um, and uh, I, I'm going to post a link below to a very popular um, uh, medieval martial arts channel, medieval swordsmanship channel. Um, and you're going to hear this person say every single uh, thing that we have been saying for years uh, with regards to gun rights, why it shouldn't be banned, uh, how it, you know, banning, we've been saying for years of banning guns uh, doesn't stop people from committing crimes. Well, he's there like absolutely copying every single point and now applying it to swords. You know, he's making the point that, hey, you know, banning swords doesn't take him out of circulation. You know, people that commit crimes are going to find some other weapon to commit their crimes. Uh, pointing out how swords are used in a very tiny percentage of crimes. How, how using a sword in a crime is extremely rare. Which is exactly the same point that we've been making with AR-15s. Um, so he's making every single point. Now, I, I personally, I like the guy. Uh, he has a ton of good information on his channel. Um... But one of the one of the things that has bothered me for years uh, with a lot of people in the swordsmanship community, which I am a part of, right? You know, everybody in that community uh, is obviously, you know, pro sword rights, right? Everybody in that community loves swords and doesn't think that they should be banned. But I would say either half the people, or maybe slightly higher, uh, probably like seventy maybe 80, 90% in the British sword community are going to take the position that guns are dangerous and, you know, ordinary people shouldn't have access to them, okay? Uh, and for years, I'm like, dude, guys, you lose your gun rights, you're going to lose everything, right? When you gave up your gun rights, you, you know, you've got no way of, of stopping the government from taking anything else that they want from you. And they've done it before, right? If you look at the Irish potato famine, right? Where you had all these Irish that were starving to death, okay? That's because, I mean, it's not, they didn't have a famine over there because the, the, the potatoes weren't growing out of the ground. The reason why they had a famine is because the English government took all their food, okay? Uh, so once you lose your gun rights, you're going to lose everything. You've got no way of protecting anything, okay? Um, so again, this is an argument I have making for, for years in the sword community. Uh, of which I am like solidly entrenched, like 17 years, and I've posted tons of videos on my channel where I'm like doing, I'm in armor, I'm doing sword fighting. You know, I absolutely love the stuff, but important to understand that there is no difference between this and this. In fact, they, I even store them in the same place. Okay, all my swords and my guns, the arms, they get stored in the same place. Okay, there's no difference. The Second Amendment that we have, okay, protects, you know. Arms, okay, arms being anything that can be used offensively or defensively, okay, uh, short for armaments, okay, uh, and it protects all arms, past, current, 
or future. Okay. Now the interesting thing is that our Second Amendment, you know, the Second Amendment itself, okay, uh, like many other, uh, you know, rights and laws that we have here in the United States, was actually based on a uh, on an English version. Okay, um, because what happened at some point they had a a, a civil war over there, right? And uh, I think it was like the the Protestants versus the uh, the Catholics, and uh, initially I think the the Catholics were winning, okay, and then the uh, the Protestants won. Right? That was a big thing over there. They were like these religious wars that they have. Um, so what happened is after the Protestants won, right? Uh, the they passed the, this right that said that that specifically the king could not disarm. Uh, the Protestants, right? So all Protestants in England had a right to bear arms, but they had some exceptions in that. Okay, uh, so it basically said that 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 the king specifically mentioned the king could not disarm the Protestants. Uh, it didn't say that Parliament could not disarm them, so they left that open, right? And that's how they that's how the English ended up losing their gun rights because the right that they initially had only protected them against the king it didn't protect them against parliament or the rest of the government okay uh, but uh and and it, there was also some exception that said within law or something like that. so basically they left the door wide enough open that eventually the english lost their gun rights and as a result of that they're now about to lose their sword rights okay uh, and it's not just swords it's also like common stuff like machetes and stuff like that garden tools you know, and people are there. They're making this argument. Hey, it's just a garden tool. I need it for you know, you know, uh, you know. And it's like the same thing that we've been all, all the same arguments we've, we've been making here in the United States for years. Okay, um, so it, it's 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 actually. I mean, it's funny, but it's not funny. You know, um, but it's like I told you so. I, I told you they were eventually going to go there, and it has what they still don't understand, right? And, and I want you guys to actually go watch this link to this video. I'm going to put below. What they still don't understand, because the what, one of the points that he, that the guy keeps bringing up that he keeps referring back to, oh, banning the swords is not going to make people more safe. What they still don't understand is that that these restrictions, whether it's gun rights or or, or rather t whether it's take, banning guns or banning swords or banning knives, it has nothing to do with safety. It has everything to do with control. Okay. The reason why they want to take the guns, the swords away now in 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 uh, in England, right, uh, is because it's it, further disarming the people makes put makes the people in power more powerful. Okay, so it's not about safety; it's about control. Okay, they want to control you, and this scares them just as much as this. Okay, um, so. Again, the biggest I told you so, right? and I, I, like I said, I've been part of that community for 17 years, you know, and it, it, within that community, people are very divided on gun rights, right? And I've been saying, hey, you know, this and this are the same thing. They take one, they'll take the other, and now, now they're seeing it, okay? So, uh, drop some comments below, and again, go check out that video. It's insane how, like, it's like this guy went to, like, one of our gun rights videos, right, and, and like, almost like copied and pasted every argument that we make in favor of gun rights and is now applying it to swords. Thanks. Talk to you all soon.